Eric Norris of Eden, a coastal town in New South Wales, Australia, was harvesting selfish with his son and all the workers in 2007 when he was suddenly attacked by a shark. The experienced diver, who was 41 years old at the time, found himself in the stomach of a 3 meter shark as his piercing teeth sank into his flesh. The monstrous creature then tried to shallow him whole, crushing his head and chest which were financially protected by his heavy diving equipment. He said, one minute it was light, the next second everything went dark. It was just dark inside her jaws. I couldn't see anything because I was looking down her throat. I've never experienced anything like it. After the first bite, the shark attempted to bite Eric's white pipe with a second bite and then began shaking him uncontrollably. Eric said, I started shaking violently in a horizontal direction. I thought, this is the end, is this really death? Fortunately, his fight or flight instinct kicked in that moment and he blindly groped around and found any socket into which he managed to seek his thumb. The shark let go, but the attack did not end there. Sharks often allow their beaten prey to get away so that they bleed out and are easier to catch. After a while, the shark quickly returned for a second round with Eric. Eric said, the big round black eye was looking straight into my face without the slightest hint of fear of any boot, any man or any other animal in the sea. It was the most terrifying sight I have ever seen. He managed to calm down and make it to his boot, where he was fortunately taken abroad by his son. Paramedics rushed him to Wollongong Hospital shortly after he escaped a life-threatening incident. Eric said of the attack, I'm glad I'm still here. Sometimes in life there is a break. I'm working man who just wanted to survive at all costs very, very badly. <laughs>